Want to get a Stripe account set up for the course? Well, then let's get started. Setting up a Stripe account for basic learning is easy and fast. You can even start using Stripe without providing an email address if you like. Stripe also provides you with a dashboard. It is the hub for your account. Your live and testing transaction data is stored here. A new Stripe account has three statuses. You can call them account states if you like. The first is an unsaved account. You provide no information and have no login. Test transaction data is stored. Dashboard access to the data is restricted to the web browser on the computer that you created the account. You can also have a saved account that is not activated. For a saved account, you need to validate an email address. You will have a login password. Any test data is saved and accessible on other computers and web browsers. The last status is an activated account. It saves both test and live data. Here you have to provide Stripe with financial and tax information. Stripe will then validate your company and identification data. You can use either an unsaved or unactivated saved account for the course exercises. They are easy and fast to set up. Both let you work with test data. They allow you to simulate live Stripe transactions in a sandbox mode. The recommended minimum for the course is to have a saved account. You do not need to activate it. A saved account's testing data is available wherever you work. To get a Stripe account, go to their website. The web design that you see here may have changed. Just look for the buttons or links for either sign up or sign in. If you elect to sign in, the form probably has a sign up link. Either way, you will end up on a form to create an account. If you want an unsaved account, choose the Skip This Step button or link. Do not worry, you can convert it to a saved account later. Otherwise, it's best to create the account with your email and a password. Either way, you will eventually come to your Stripe dashboard. You will use the dashboard for maintaining your account and it is where you monitor and manage transactional data. The dashboard has a toggle button to switch between working with live or test data. Test mode works for all new account statuses. Only an activated account can work in live mode. In either mode, you can make changes. For example, adding customers, making refunds, deleting customers, creating coupons, and much more. This includes interacting with your website using the Stripe API. If you started with an unsaved account, you may later decide that you want to save your data. The dashboard has a link to save the account. Just provide an email address and a password. An unactivated account will warn you about live features that you cannot use. Both live mode and test mode look and work alike but they have separate data. In the test mode view, you are seeing sandbox data and transactions. Customers, their credit cards, and your bank accounts are not charged. You can safely delete all test mode data at any time. In live mode view, you are seeing and working with actual data and transactions. This includes your own bank account. There are a lot of dashboard choices available. Don't panic, as we will learn them as we use them. They provide all the data about your account and transactions. There is summary level data with graphs on the dashboard choice. Then you have lists such as the list of customers. The lists often have more details and choices to manage the data. For a new account, the reports will be wanting for data. As we get working and creating transactions, you will see these screens fill up with information. Then we will look closer at all of it to see what is meaningful to you. One other item to get a quick look at is your account settings. Access them with uh, your account link. The your account link may have a name if you provide it one. Account settings cover a wide range of items. Do not panic. Most of these are easy to understand. For example, we will create test data. You may want to delete all the test data to start fresh. You find that under the data choice. 
you might want to get informed by email when you get a payment. The Emails Choice has options for getting messages. We will cover dashboard and account settings as we need them. Once you create an account, you can immediately start using Stripe in test mode. If you do not have a Stripe account, now is a good time to get one set up. Well, that's it. Hope to see you in the next round.